<laughs> Hi guys. That was supposed to be a little more swift than that. That was a little bit more swish. I have a whole thing. I have a whole thing on my uh, stream deck here. A whole procedure to get from coming up to live and I missed a couple of buttons. I'm half asleep. I, it's weird. You ever get a decent amount of sleep, but the sleep you get is crap, so you feel like crap? That's me today. Good morning, everyone. Happy uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. And today, we are going to try this game called Space Otter Charlie. This was sent for me by the developer, so thank you for that. I've never played it before. It looks cute. Good morning, Matrix. Your name looks new, so if you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before and I forgot your name, I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm terrible with names. So it's quite possible you've been here before and I've forgotten. All right, let's... I'm sure... Did we? I have to hit a button? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Thank you for following me for years. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry. I am... Again, I am terrible with names. Unless you're here every day beating into my brain. And that's not on you, though. That's on me. But if, if you're not here beating into my brain every day, it's just going to go, woo! Um, because apparently my... It's weird what my brain holds on to. Have you, have you noticed this with your cells? Um, we have a hummingbird feeder. We have a hummingbird feeder. and Because uh, we have hummingbirds. And every now and again, we have to empty it out and clean it and refill it. And I've done it maybe half a dozen to a dozen times so far. And I can never remember the ratio of sugar to water. I always has to I always have to ask the wife how much sugar to how much water because it doesn't stick in my brain. Apparently it's not important enough to stick in my brain. Whereas I can remember the crude complement of the Enterprise. <laughs> Or when Orville Season 3 is supposed to start, you know. So it's weird what your brain decides to hold on to. And apparently, my brain does not think names are important to hold on to. So they just go, whoo! Um, <laughs> whereas my brain definitely knows... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like my brain doesn't care about this info. Oh, that's unpleasant. I mean, for a while it was nice having the run of the place with all the garbage. Who doesn't love otters, though? I mean, otters are amazing. Morning, Thorsten. See, that's the name I remember because he's here all the time. It's been boom, 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 hammered into my brain. Uh, but the thing is... <clears throat> it just kept getting hotter. Well, maybe that's why the humans left. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow, all right. Oh, no. Mission Bravo. The big B. Big as B. Well, the humans must have left. The humans must have left a lot of crap behind. A 
I love the look of the rocket. It looks like a fishy. Like a little fishy. And fuzzy dice, apparently. You gotta have fuzzy dice. A place called Earth. No, I'm kidding. Uh, another ship? Oh. Lost a lot of setup for this. A lot of setup. Oh my god, he's adorable. Look at that. He's adorable. I was thinking... Yeah, maybe E.T., but I was thinking Battlestar Galactica. Okay. Oh, hello? What was that? That was a weird stutter. Huh. My, where's where's jetpack fuel? <laughs> oh, there's jetpack fuel. It's at the bottom. Okay. into the side of the crate to push it down the hall. Ready for an event? Okay. Okay. That's kind of neat. Whoa. HMS Tomcat, huh? Huh. Is that supposed to be like Uncle Jesse from the Dukes of Hazard? Does have a big like thing on it, so maybe that's oh.
Nope, nope. I'm trying not to use the jetpack until I really need it. Nope, nope! Lazor, L A Z O R. Those look like parts. Those look like important things. I wonder how I opened that. No, I didn't want to. No, I didn't want to go there. Can I go back? Can I go? The jetpack recharges. Oh, I didn't even notice. Basic laser. rats oh no shiny button.
Oh, so that shows all the places I've been already. Yeah, that's cool. Ah, yes, I see. Uh, lasers. No, 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 no. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's one of them. Oh, okay. Try shooting in different directions while you're attached to the crate. supposed to get in there hit the button? I thought I hit the button. There we go. pups are so buoyant they are unable to sink or dive underwater for the first couple months of aww I'm a big fan of otters I love I, I really do oh you can shoot buttons I didn't know that nope A timer? What the what? things fade away if you where the oh god what are you kidding me No, no, move, 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 you idiot. Oh my god. That was dumb.
Oh, jeez, Louise. That duct tape. That big thing of duct tape. things are. Huh. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, that was really stupid, clo stupid close. Interesting. Okay. No, no. No! Damn. God, don't. No. Yeah, this is, this does seem pretty um, challenging, too. So, wait. Oh, I see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, okay. No, don't fall into the fire. Okay. Oh, I guess the fire doesn't affect it. Well, that's good. Cute little puzzle thing there for a second. Cute little puzzle thing there. Okay, so now we got one more. Got one more fuel thing. Shoot the eye there. Oh, but you can block it. Interesting. Block its view. I see how it is. <laughs> uh. Oh, great.
All right, so wait, where the hell am I? I'm, okay, so how am I supposed to get up there? Nope, nope. Nope. Oh, come on. Let me get, let me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not even get in there? Nope, I can't even fit in there. So how am I. Huh. Looks like I have to go back kind of the way I came. I think. Yeah, and then I have to go back up here. Oh. Then I have to go back. Yes, and then I go this way, I think. No, 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 move, move, move. Okay. I'm supposed to stop that fire. Guess I can't go that way? Okay.
Oh, shield upgrade. Yes, please. Oh, that's an interesting notion. Can I build anything else? Uh, no plans available. Okay. Block it if I if I block the fire with it though. Whoa! Oh, what the what? Before I do that, hang on. Rust upgrade. Well, I could use that. Oh, boy. Well, I can't get back there. Well, hang on. Can I... Can I do this? Wait a minute. I shot those. Okay, let's see if I can build that thrust upgrade real quick. Aha! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Ooh, hello. Very nice. All right, let's go back to where we were now. I say I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Ah, I wanted that part. Oh, no parts. Fine. Come on. No, 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 no. I guess we can't go that way. Go back this way, I guess. Oh! 
The dig? Hang on. I actually never played the dig. I, I, I kind of... I guess not grew out of, but... And not really. Wow, I did get everything. Look at that. Oh, wait. Can I... No more parts. I thought I got a double laser or something out of that. Shut down Aries system? Huh. Yeah, I, I, I kind of got out of ex, um, adventure games by that point. I was heavily in them for a while. Um, like, uh, all the Sierra games. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to leave. How do I leave? What am I shooting at even? Oh. Is that a thing I can go into? Nope. What am I supposed to be doing here? Nope, move. What am I supposed to be doing here? Sure, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, what am I doing? It doesn't seem to be able to target me while I'm not standing on a wall. What am I supposed to be doing here? supposed to be doing here oh B. I like it. I like it. It's just... I kind of like how the game didn't tell me to do it either. I had to figure it out, but I kind of dig that. Hey, John. Supposed to hit the. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Damn it. Tough. No, no. No, 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 no. Man. I hate boss fights. I hate them. I real I've, I've always hated them. Cuz like, hey, let's give you some fun gameplay and then oh, are you enjoying yourself? Too bad. Cuz now we're just going to give you this really hard thing that you have to pass before you can enjoy yourself some more. I really hate boss fights. Hate them. I get why they're there and everything and blah, blah, fuckity blah, but use my language, but yeah, I hate, hate boss fights. Hate. Huh. I like how you're, I, I like that name is, can I ask you something? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, I hate boss fights. So let's see if I can ever pass this one. Welcome to your doom. Well, at least I know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Oh, damn. I wonder if I'm not supposed to shoot those panels yet. Like maybe during the boss fight, I'm maybe during the drones thing, I'm supposed to shoot him. Oh, hang on. What the what? No, no, come on, get the get the stuff, get the stuff. There we go. The shield stuff. Oh, 
Damn, 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 damn. Hate boss fights. Hate. Hate. Hate boss fights. I heard the novel was actually better than the game of the dig. Um, but I, I actually like Alan Dean Foster a lot. People give him crap because he's, he does a lot of adaptations like, you know, Alien and whatnot. But, like, um, when I was younger, he did a novel of, what was it called? Pip and Flinks? Fli Pip and Flicks? Something like that? That I really enjoyed. So, yeah, I like Alan Dean Foster. Um, so, yeah, if you've not read those, they're, they're a good time. Um, there are a lot of them. But, uh... But those are, yeah, those are really a lot of fun, those Pip and Flinks novels. Yeah, those are really a good time. Well, they were when I was younger. They're kind of young adult. I don't know if they're young adult fiction, but I don't know if they'd appeal to an older reader. But I enjoyed them when I read them. But I was like 20 years younger, so I don't know. Damn. So I gotta stay, I gotta stay off, I gotta be careful. What what kills me, what killed me both times so far is touching that electrified, touching the electrified walls. So I gotta be real careful about that. Excuse me, I gotta be real yeah, be real careful not to touch the electrified walls. Yeah, I gotta be real careful not to touch his walls when they're electrified because that's what's killed me both times. No, 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 no. Okay, so don't touch the electrified walls. I couldn't... You know what? I tried getting into Hunter Harrington. And I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get past the first novel. I, I just couldn't do it. Um... So, Thorsten, is the Pip and Flink stuff, is that the Human X stuff that you're talking about? Cause I've, if there's other novels in that series, I, I should look that up. Human, hang on, just while it's in my brain pan. Oops. Ah, the Human X Commonwealth. Wow, it's a huge series. Holy moly. Ah, yes, Philip Links. Oh my god, there are a lot of Philip. Oh my god. This is th wow, okay, this is tons and tons of novels. Oh my god.
is like about what uh, looks to be about 30 novels. Yeah, I see that. I'm looking at a Wikipedia um, article. I'm gonna have to read these in order. I, I don't even think I've read all of the Human X Commonwealth. Um, I don't even think I've read all of all of the Pip and Flinks novels. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, I'm doing a little better this time. Because I'm not touching the electrified fence. Or whatever the electrified thing is. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Did I do it? Oh, thank God. <laughs> that badger is an otter. Wait, there's a there's a there's a source there's a RPG source book about this thing, this human this commonwealth thing. No, it was me bouncing off the electric um don't whiz on the electric fence. Um Can I get out of here now without touching you? Okay, good. Ooh, upgraded laser? A reflector. Hang on, hang on, before we go, there's a lot of stuff here, and I want to get all, I want to get all the stuff. There's some stuff over here, too. Stuff over here? No, can't go that way. Okay. Jeez Louise. Spacenet? Wait a minute, that's a game we just played. Wait a minute. They're not linked, are they? No, they're probably not. Oh, I like how she's in the little mech thing. Okay, that looks like he's pooping energy, energy, but okay. What we ought to do with this? Oh God! That was about. Okay, can I can I do the build thing? Can I build the reflector? No, I need more parts. Whatever those things are. Valencia. Hmm. 
There's a town near here called Valencia. I think the original one's in Spain. <laughs> That's how I talk. I want to build this reflector thingy. Huh. Orbital training. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Combat training. Well, that's probably good, right? play with groups of viewers and friends uh um thank you spaz yeah i um i can't play with just anybody uh i have to get to know them first and also i'm not really spontaneous so like i have to schedule something <laughs> and me and mentally prepare for it. Because when you're an introvert, when you're an introvert with some social anxiety, you can't just... It's it's very, very, very challenging to just be on, you know? It's very challenging to just be on like that. Like, I don't know how extroverts do it, but they can just be like, hey, everybody, blah, 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 and just talk to people and be out there and go. And I'm like, okay... If we want to go to this concert in two weeks, I just have to put it on the calendar and, and know it's coming. And then I have to make sure I get enough sleep and then I have to take a nap and then I have to mentally prepare to be able to talk to people. And so, yeah. So one, there's a social aspect involved. I can't just play with anybody. And, um, and two, like, like I can I, I worry my community suffers because of this a little bit. Like a lot a lot of people in my um a lot of people in my community want to play stuff. They love playing stuff and I feel like because I can't be involved all the time, I worry that things suffer a little bit and I I I, I don't think I can do anything about that. But um like, this is easier for me because I'm kind of talking at you guys. <laughs> you know? Um, being in a room or being in a chat room even with, with people or being in a, like, voice chat room with people is a completely different mindset for me. And so, like, um, yeah, it's really... Uh, it, it's It's... it's it's really difficult for me to really just like be spontaneous and get into things. And again, I worry that I worry that because of that, I've hampered my community's growth as a result. 
Um, but I mean, that's just how I'm wired, you know, it's just, yeah, it's interesting. I'm an, in I'm a huge homebody slash introvert, but this is, this is easy. Um, it's weird. Like when we do morning podcasts, that's a completely different thing. And a morning podcast, because it's an interview and everything, it like knocks me out for the rest of the day. But doing this, streaming and talk and talking at you guys, um, it energizes me for the rest of the day. It's, it's weird how those things work out. Um, but like, yeah, we're actually having a small... Uh, we ha we're actually having a small family gathering at our ho at our home on Saturday. The first one in well over a year. Um, it's just going to be family, a couple people. And uh, we had, like I had to schedule it uh, months ahead. Like we had to schedule it weeks in advance. Uh, one because of everyone's um, everyone's schedule, but two because yeah, I can't just go out and do things. Like, sometimes people want to come over. It's like, ugh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you lost your job and that you've become depressed, Giuliano. I'm sorry. that. You know what? A lot of people are going through that very same thing right now. A lot of people have lost their job. A lot of people are depressed. You're not going through this alone. You know, I, I get it, but you are not alone in how you feel. And um, I don't know about you, but when I find out I'm not alone in a thing, that gives me comfort. So a lot of us are going through this together. Like with me, I'm an introvert ho homebody. I'm a homebody introvert. Like I find that the thing, your core activity is the thing you... Uh, is the thing you gain energy from, is the thing you recharge from. And for me, that core activity has always been sitting in a room playing video games or listening to music or doing something solitary. Like, I love spending time with my, my, my wife and my friends, but to... Attention, majority workers. Thanks, Ducat. But to really recharge, I need solo time. You know, I really need solo time. And so, for me, I feel like I've been preparing for this lockdown, this uh, quarantine, this pandemic for years. But I know a lot of people who are suffering because they're extroverts. They have to be out there. They have to be among people. They have to do, they have to go out. Like I listened to Conan O'Brien's podcast. Conan O'Brien has a great podcast, by the way, Conan O'Brien needs a friend. He's I've, I've always been a Conan fan, but he talks a lot about his need for an audience and he has really suffered because of that pandemic. He like really needs an audience and because he hasn't been able to have one, it's really hurt him. So, um, but, um, Julian, depression is totally a thing you can work through. Um, you can get, I don't know if you're into therapy, but you can get therapy remotely these days through services like BetterHelp and whatnot. There are a lot of great services out there that offer remote therapy that are very, and I've gone through a lot of therapy. I've, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of therapy. Uh, one of the reasons I love the new show Falcon and Winter Soldier so much is because it's so therapy positive. Um, oh good. I'm glad to hear you're getting therapy. Good, good, good. No, that's good. I know a lot of people who don't don't think they need therapy or don't deserve therapy or whatever. Um, and I think therapy is great for anyone who even thinks about needing it. Um, yeah, therapy is a wonderful thing. With the right therapist. You got to find the right therapist. If you don't have the right therapist, get a new therapist. I had a therapist. Thank you, honey. You going? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Be safe. I love you. Um, I had a therapist who fell asleep on me twice. She was an older woman, and she fell asleep on me twice. And at the time, 
I had such low self-esteem. I had such low self-esteem at the time. Um, that I just kept, I just talked through it. I just acted like, oh, this is what I deserve. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, blah. Oh, she fell asleep. Okay, that's what I deserve. Um, <laughs> but it was only after I left that therapist and found the right therapist for me that I really did the work and came out on the other side. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Fall asleep. <laughs> she fell asleep. She was like two feet away from me and she fell asleep. In the middle of the afternoon, it was like 4 p.m. and she fell asleep. I was so... I had to stop seeing her through circumstance. I actually didn't choose to stop seeing her. I lost the job from which I was... Um, from which I was going to see her. So I just luckily stopped seeing her. Um, but yeah, no, Giuliano, I'm really glad you're seeking therapy. That's great. Uh, oh, online. Oh, you're having online and in-person sessions. Yeah, you really, and, and, and that's good to have both. Um, to, that's good to have both a psychologist and a psychiatrist that they work together to determine whether you need medication and then you know then you can have the right medication you know that sort of thing um <laughs> yeah yeah right okay octavia sure yeah my charm yeah all right <laughs> yeah yeah i was such a smooth talker i put her to sleep yeah all right uh <laughs> sure um, but, um, uh, Giuliano self-sabotage and, and things like imposter syndrome, which they kind of, they can go hand in hand are totally common. So many people do that to themselves. And, and in a lot of ways, I blame television and movies because television and movies teach you that, Oh, I can do anything in two hours. You know, like, no, no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> If you want to watch a great show, speaking of television movies, if you want to watch a great show about, in my opinion, the it's it's a show that's shown the best uh, journey through to positive mental health. My crazy ex girlfriend. I'm not even kidding. It's a show called My Crazy Ex Girlfriend. It's on Netflix here in the states, and I've never seen a show that. Um, that shows the journey from someone's like lowest point to a place of positive mental health. And she goes through therapy and, and everything. It's a comedy musical drama, but, but it, again, it shows, I've never seen a show that shows a better journey through to positive mental health than that one. It's an, it's only four seasons it's not really long. It's got great music. It's really great writing. It's very funny. Uh, great characters. And again, it's very therapy positive. It's very mental health positive. Um, she has a whole... There, there's a whole song about how so many people take antidepressants. It's such a common thing. You're in this huge club. There's a huge song about antidepressants aren't that big a deal because everyone takes them. Uh, for example, you know, that's the kind of thing, uh, well, the creator of the show, she's gone through therapy herself. She's, she's had her own journey. So a lot of it is based on her journey, uh, uh as well. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, it, it shows that even when you're at your lowest, having, having friends doing the work getting the help and 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 whatnot and, uh, with along with self-actualization can really pull you through to the other side and um yeah i yeah there are people i wish i could make watch that show um she has a whole song about how getting a diagnosis, she'll be able to fix herself like that, you know, 
uh, because, oh, I'll have a diagnosis. I'll know what to do. And that's not how this works. That's not how it works. Uh, and the show does that. Like, she thinks because she's going to get a diagnosis, oh, I'll be able to fix, like, like that, fix myself. And the show's like, no. No, that's not how this works. And that's right. So uh, it's just a really, really um, impressive show about the journey to a place of better mental health. Um, I'm sure there are other ways to get it, Sea Potato, but uh, it's definitely worth watching. It's funny. It's got great, very catchy music. Um, I think one of the sh the guys who wrote music for it was one of the guys from Bowling for Soup. He's the he's the one. Was it Bowling for Soup? No, no, no. It was it no? It was um, Fountains of Wayne. I think. I believe it was one of the guys from Fountains of Wayne who also wrote songs for Crazy Ass Girlfriend, and like Josh Groban shows up at one point to do a song. It's great. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. There's a song in the first episode called the Sexy Getting Ready song, which is about, um, which is about, you know, all the work women do to get ready for a date. And like, they show like, let's see what the guys are doing. He's sleeping. It's so freaking funny. Um, now nah, Brazil, you have your own problems down there. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Giuliano, you are not alone in, in, in feeling depressed. So, uh, we'll all get through this. We'll all get through this, uh, especially if we support each other. That's how we'll get through this if we support each other. Um, <clears throat> that's why communities like ours, like, you know, whichever communities you're in, communities are so important, and I'm so glad that we have such a great community here and on our Discord. Uh, very positive, very supportive. Uh, I'm so grateful for our community and and the dozens of other communities around where people find solace, support, that sort of thing. Um, be careful. Careful about politics. But, um, yeah, you are not alone. Juliano, don't you worry. If you want to join our Discord and hang out with some really great people, please feel free. Um, <clears throat> but I'm glad you're getting help. It sounds like you're definitely doing the right things. Um, and the fact that you're not afraid to uh, talk about it, it's okay. And the fact that you're not afraid to talk about it is a very good thing. Uh, more people need to talk about their mental health, I think. Uh, get away from the stigma of talking about how you're feeling inside um, because it's important. You know, those days of bottling everything up until you die, it doesn't work. You know, it never worked. But now people are realizing it doesn't work. And um, <clears throat> it's good that the fact that, you're, that you feel open enough to be able to talk about it is a very good sign. And the fact that you're getting help, you, you, you realized you needed help and that you're getting the help, that's huge right there. You know, Giuliano, that's huge right there. And, um... Well, we're all strangers. We're all a bunch of text on a screen. Well, except me, I guess. But we're all a bunch of text on a screen. I've always, for me, personally, I've always found it easier to talk in, like, a text chat room than in person. Um... So... There's... there's The, the stakes are lower here. You know? So I'm sure that's one, at least that's one of the reasons I think it's easier to talk about here. But yeah, no, you're already making more steps in the right direction than a lot of people do. A lot of people don't even think they have a problem. A lot of people don't even think uh, they need therapy when they do. And I, I know people personally who are, even though they are going to therapy, they're getting all the wrong things out of it. So um, yeah, all the wrong things. So, so, uh, so yeah, so yeah, no, um, 
It sounds like you're doing all the right things you need to do for you, Giuliano. So that's great. And um, I'm sure it'll take time, but you will bounce back. I heard a great saying the other day, and it was, it it's it's from a self help book. I heard it in a, I do this VR workout thing called Supernatural, which is amazing, by the way. If you ever get an Oculus Quest Two, get Supernatural. Uh, I heard this saying the other day that I'd never heard before. A setback is just a setup for a comeback, and that's true. That that that's really true. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah, you, you could be you could be at any age, see potato, and 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 do the work. I did the work when I was in my mid thirties. Uh, wait. Yeah, mid thirties. Um, I did the work when I was in my mid thirties. And um, yeah, I was a completely different person before I had my breakthroughs in therapy. Complete. Well, not completely, obviously, but like, uh, like very, very different. Um, I had, I was diagnosed in my late twenties with, um, PTSD related anxiety and depression. And I was diagnosed by probably the best therapist at UCLA medical center, but I wasn't ready for therapy. So while he gave me a diagnosis, when he gave me a diagnosis, I was like, hey, I have, a di I have a diagnosis. Now I know what to blame everything on. So you can't be mad at me anymore because I have this diagnosis. Stop being mad at me, uh, which is the totally wrong thing to take from that. But um, it was only about a decade. It was only about 10 years later from a different therapist. And... Um, Well, I mean, a diagnosis helps, but you have to take the right things away from a diagnosis. You can't just use a diagnosis as a... I, I weaponized my diagnosis, basically. I weaponized it. And I know someone in my family who's doing the exact same thing, which is really frustrating. But yeah, I, I weaponized my diagnosis. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready for it, but yeah, that's what I had. And... Um, it was only through a lot of therapy and hard work that I dealt with it. I mean, the anxiety is always there. It's always a little voice in the back of my head. Um, you never get rid of it entirely, but you learn to manage it. And you learn to tell it to shut the fuck up. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, don't. Don't feel guilt. That doesn't help. But I get it. No, I get it. If you don't feel you deserve to get better, you start feeling guilty. I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. I've been there. I've been through all this crap. And, um... Like I said, it took a lot of work. But if an idiot like me can do the work and make the progress I've made, anyone can do it. Including you, Giuliano. So... So the, like I said, the fact that you've taken these steps towards self-care, towards self-love, uh, are amazing. Yeah, depression and anxiety are the worst liars you'll ever meet in your lives. Oh my god. The worst liars. You will never, you will never meet a person who lies to you worse than you lie to yourself. When you have anxiety and depression. Um... And that, that, that was probably the most exhausting part of my recovery. Uh, cause my therapist told me to do self-talk. So when my, I would hear my anxiety tell me something, I would talk back to it and tell it to shut up or give it facts, you know, like you're wrong and this is why. And it would, that would shut it up. But I had to do it every second of every day for years. Um, and it was exhausting. It worked in the end. I don't have to do it anymore. But, um, yeah. Yeah, therapy is... I wish more people would go to therapy because... I wish more people would go to therapy because it is so helpful. It is so useful. Again, with the right therapist. You can't just go with the first therapist you find and hope to get 
I mean, unless that's the right one. So I'll tell you guys a story real quick. We, the game is great, but uh, I, uh, this is the last therapist I saw. She was also a great therapist. Um, I started seeing this therapist because I was dealing with abandonment issues. That stemmed from my childhood. Uh, this is a different therapist than the one I previously talked about. And one day, and this, this, these abandonment issues were brought on by a woman I was seeing at the time. Um, because she didn't want to, she didn't want to get as serious as I did, and it was really tweaking these abandonment issues I had. Um. So I started seeing a therapist for it. Hang on. Oh, see, Potato, you gotta stop doing that. You probably have more joyous moments in your life than more embarrassing moments. You really gotta start steering yourself toward thinking of those. It's all about balance. And, uh... And Giuliano, yeah, stop deprecating yourself. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't help either, but that's probably part of the anxiety and the depression. So that's what hopefully what therapy will help you with. But, um, just real quick. So I was seeing this, ther this amazing therapist, uh, for my, uh, abandonment issues. And one day I'm early. I'm a few minutes early. So I knock on the door and I hear come in and, uh, this therapist is talking to this lovely young lady. Uh, who's, you know, still talking to her. And I'm like, who's that? And, uh, therapist is like, don't worry about it. I'm like, she's really cute. So, I broke up with that one girl a few weeks later. I'm talking to my therapist about it. No, don't worry about it. Uh, and after I broke up with this girl, after I broke up with that girl, I asked my therapist, who was that girl that was in your office, um, a few weeks ago? She seemed really nice. And my therapist is like, well, she's going through her own stuff. Two weeks later, my therapist contacts me and goes, you know that girl you're interested in? Uh, yeah, she, she would, she would like to meet you. She would like to, she would like to, to meet you. So give me your Facebook information. And, uh, we connected through Facebook, her and I, and, um, I found out she was going through a divorce um, and um, so we started talking on Facebook Messenger and she tells me that she's going through a divorce and she needs some time you know and I'm like alright well you take the time you need I'm not going to stop dating people um, you know I'm not going to stop dating people but you know if I'm still single when you're ready let me know you know um, two weeks uh, like a week later she's like you know what let's go out <laughs> And now I'm married to that woman. <laughs> so I met my wife at my former therapist's office. And it's the best relationship I've ever had. So not only when you go to therapy, not only when you go to therapy can you get the help you need, but when you open yourself up to the possibility of improvement, of love, uh, of 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 um of uh of se of not only self care but care from others when you open yourself up to those possibilities um your life can really take a turn for the better as mine has so i'm just saying that because um if i had not done all the therapy before that before that therapist, if I had not done the work before that therapist, I might not have been open to the possibility. So let therapy open yourself up to the possibility of loving yourself, of thinking that you're worthy of love, of thinking that you're worthy of happiness, that you're worthy of joy. And, and you can do so much, you know, with your own self love and self care. Anyway, <laughs> How long were we talking? Was that 20 minutes? That was like 20 minutes. <laughs> wow. This, uh, 
this conver- this uh, this conversation took a interesting turn, didn't it? Um, but yeah, Giuliano, I hope that uh, you realize you're doing all the right things. It sounds like, and uh, I'm I I'm sure with time and more hard work. Uh, I'm sure with time and more hard work, you'll get through this. Um, but yeah, again, no, you're not alone and I'm glad you're doing the work. That's the thing is doing the work. That's one thing I loved about the winter soldier. The, the Falcon and the winter soldier is because it's so therapy positive. Like, I don't know if you've seen it, but there are moments in there that I was crying because I'm like, wow, if people see this, they might realize they need therapy. I was so happy to see um, these there, these very therapy positive, mental health positive um, things on a on a popular TV show. So I will love, I will always love the Falcon and Winter Soldier for that. Anyway, good talk. <laughs> okay, where were we with uh, Space Otter Charlie here? How do I play this again? Come on. Oh, you joined our Discord. Yay, that's great. Welcome. I love our Discord so much. Steph, it's our most active community. So I guess I got a shield upgrade for doing this. Oh, that's cool. But not the electric slot. Really, game? The electric slide? Is there also a power up in there called the Macarena? Or are we just gonna take uh just gonna take 90s 90s wedding songs and, and oh my god. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, let's see if I can build this shield upgrade. Dang it. Dang it. All right. What time is it? Okay. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're all right. Go to Valencia Station. Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Okay. See you, Sea Potato. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Blectomite. See, we, we just had a game. We just had a developer of a game called SpaceNet on our podcast. And that just... I wonder... There's a... Alright, let's move this box so it covers the eye.
No, no, no. Damn it. Oh, come on. That's annoying. Super Otter, oh my god. No, no, no. What? What's that? is important. Can I shoot that? Oh good, I can. Okay. Wow, wow. Alright, well hang on. No, 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 no! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Move! You idiot! Oh my god, okay. I meant me, not the otter. I'm not. The otter's not the idiot. I'm the idiot for moving him in the fire like that. Dang it all to hell. No, no. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these things. Oh, congratulations, John, for getting your second COVID shot. That's exciting. No, 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 no. Yeah, I've heard, I don't, I, I, my wife had Moderna, and but she, and she didn't really have any problems. Oh, good, it turned off the thing. Um, turned off the electricity, so now I can go on that. Um, yeah, my wife, my wife had, a. Uh, uh oh. No, no, no. Yeah, she didn't really have any problems. So, uh. He was worried she might, but no, she did not have any problems. What is that thing? 
Whoa! Whoa, 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 ho! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I was not ready for that. What is that? Talk to you, Juliana. Hold the RB. Oh. oh. Happy to help, Juliana. You're, you're already doing the work, so... <laughs> That's the important part. Now, where's the key for that? Uh, there. How do I get... How, how the heck am I supposed to get there? Uh, oh, I see. Hang on. I like this reflecto beam. Button over there or something? Okay, well maybe there's a button over there. I don't know. No. Huh. Oh, I see what's going on. Think.
What the? Oh, bloody biscuits. Move, move, move. Oh, damn it. <sighs> oh, wait. No, this is the way I was going. Move, move, move! Oh, there's one of the keys, apparently. Move, move, move! Jeez. Another thrust upgrade. wrap themselves in kelp.
Yeah, I can't play Subnautica. I tried, but it scared me too much. So, not my game. Oh, we have another key here. Underwater stuff definitely scares me. Definitely. A ghostly hull. No, 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 no. Come on. How'd that happen? I don't know. Funny though. Interesting. Thank you. 
think so. That's a good question. Oh, I wonder. Oh, interesting. I didn't even think. This seems like a good time to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that thing. All right. So this has been Space Otter Charlie. It's fun. And it's cute. And I'm not even that big into platforming. And I enjoyed this, even though I am terrible at it. Um, what are we playing tomorrow? Hang on. What are we playing tomorrow? I don't remember. Um, so tomorrow. Ah, yes. The latest game from 10 Tons. Skeletal Avenger. That's what we'll be playing tomorrow. Uh, that just came out into early access today. Um, so tomorrow morning we'll be playing Skeletal Avenger. And then um, and tomorrow afternoon, five energy, uh, we'll be trying to play Can't Drive This. Um, thanks for hanging out today, everyone. That was a different session. That was a different... Uh, <laughs> that was definitely a different session, but I liked it. I'm glad we got some... Good talk in there, and I, I hope people are at least a little happier for it. Um, but yeah, we'll see you around. Have a great day. Be safe. Be well. Uh, take care of each other. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll